Well, Paul, many congratulations. How satisfying a victory was that today? Yeah, pleasing. Uh, yeah, really pleasing. I thought we were we we got it right in terms of we knew what we were going to face, and I thought we defended the box well all night um, and showed some good bravery in the first half to try and keep playing because we we know they're going to step against us and go man for man, and so. We were happy to take the ball and risk possession, knowing that when we played through that midfield or, or could go into the front men, um, we'd bypass that press and we'd get chances. So, pleased with that. Um, and then it was a similar story to Wigan, really. We, we get on top and we're comfortable and good value. And then a goal we're not happy with, obviously, with the decision. And then um, one we could do better with defending the cross. Um, changes the game a little bit, but to a man, we defended the box very, very well. How, that's, well, a minor theme of recent weeks. How do you address that? Address what? The, the winning. Yeah, the, the, slow, the, the slowing down. Slowing down? Yeah. The ref's got a good right decision. You pick two games there where one was five yards offside and one's our throwing. Yeah, listen, I'm not making a big deal. I've been in to see the guys. And that's, that's what it is. Then you've got to respect it. Then once, once Blackpool get that, what are they going to do? They've, they've put four up top, the two midfielders play the other side of ours. That's six men. So we have to mark them. We mark them with seven, so it means the game's going to be in that half. The only way you change it is by scoring another goal, and we, and we couldn't do it. Um, yeah, so, we, listen, we were good. We were, we were good value for it. Um, yeah, ple pleased the bits we got right in terms of how we defended their threats. Um, and obviously two good goals from, uh, from some players with, with some good talent. Very much so. The McAtee goal will we'll get the headlines, won't it? But it's his form in the last sort of four or five games is evidence of a player that's really developed over the course of his time here. Yeah, and, and he can go further. But listen, no one's had it a, a tougher baptism, if you like, than, than, than Mac. He had to be patient to get in. And we got in. I brought him off at half time in his first start. Then had to be patient and get back in again. In a position that is different because of what we ask him to do. It's not like in playing as a as a ten for City in there four three three, there's a lot more without the ball that we expect him to do, and there's a lot more without the ball that this league demands he does. Um, and he's, he's took it on board. He's worked hard. Whether it's been video, whether it's been on the grass, whether it's been the fitness, um, and then it's given him the confidence. I feel to to go and show what he can do with the ball because we've got some good footballers in our side, but. We wouldn't win anything. We wouldn't be winning games if they weren't willing to do the um, the bits that go. A lot of it goes unnoticed, you know, the bits without the ball, you know, being in good positions. Um, so he, he can be really pleased with how he's learned, grown, and and sort of beginning to see the value of that. He went 2022 with the best away record in the championship, 11 points clear of third place. Just sum that up. How satisfied are you with the the 50 points you've accrued so far? Yeah, delighted. Um, 50 off 25, it's, it's the form we were after. Um, but we need more now, so we'll just keep going. We need more. The, the, the gap that we've managed to create is handy because we know, listen, every game's tough in this league and, and sometimes we know they're not going to go our way, but I think the consistency has been really important and like those little bits that we're speaking about in Macca's game, all our players display that so... It means in tight encounters, I think when we get that right more than most, we're going to come out on top more than most. QPR then is the, the next challenge. What's your early assessment of that one? Uh, yeah, it's going to be... I've seen the result today, I've not seen the game. So I could kill me again, I'm freezing. I've seen the result today, but I've not seen the game, so... Um, first, first account of it looks like it changed the shape slightly. Um, but they're at home, they're going to try and force issue, and, and we're going to go on try and impose our style on them and, and create chances, take chances and and try and win. It, it's just about maintenance now, isn't it? And, and consistency for the, the remainder of the season, really. Yeah, consistency is key, isn't it? I'm pleased we, we've made some good su substitutions today, bringing good players on. Um, we've got a lot, uh, five or six more good players back at Shirecliffe who are going to strengthen us further. So from that, um, in that respect, we're... I'm pleased. That that's what we that's what we wanted. So uh, we keep the standards. We we keep driving. We keep the same uh, hunger and show quality like we did in the first 60 minutes. Um, then we'll be okay.
of the players that uh, didn't make the squad today, who might be available for you for QPR? Uh, maybe Oli. Uh, Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy's, Ozzy's progressing, but we, we're going to just... We want to make sure that we get it right for him and for us. Um, it's no coincidence, he, he jumped back in the team when he had to and was short, and he went game, 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 game. And when he reached these big physical outputs, it was the, the following week. And listen, everyone's done well, we've caught it at the right time, so it's just a case of um, getting the load, getting the work rate right into him, <coughs> and making sure his hamstring, then when he comes back, he'll, he'll sustain that again. Uh, I, I feel for him because he just worked his way back into the team, um, and we've got more players coming back, so it's going to be tough. So. There's those two, um, obviously Reese and, and Rihanna. Yeah, we keep seeing them every day, having a chat with them every day, but they're further down the line. Uh, Izzy's back on the grass. We still want to keep him training regularly first before we start exposing him to game time. Um, and Fleck is similar, he's not on the grass yet. He's just uh, be step by step with him. Um, but again, another, another good player for us to have back. The one you didn't mention there was Kadra. Why is he not involved at the minute? I just didn't have him in the squad. I thought we, we had a good enough squad there. Um, yeah, so that's it. So he's fit. He'll be, we'll see him on Saturday. Because uh, it will set off the, the train of thought and whether you see him sticking around and whether his loan might be better used elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. Your thoughts on that are? <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> but he's involved. He could be involved at QPR. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Listen, he's our, he's our player. It's up to us. What we do, there were stipulations in the loan, but he's our player and it's up to us what we do.